Although nature is very beautiful, it can also be very deadly. I'm going to be exploring the most harsh and dangerous environments on the planet and teaching you the skills you'll need in order to survive. I'm Bear Grylls and I'm lost as fuck. Hello, I'm Bear Grylls and today we're exploring the absolutely astonishing African rainforest. We aren't in Africa. Beg your pardon? We aren't in Africa. We're in to lose your fucking job? The first thing you need to do when in a new environment is build a shelter. So what you're gonna wanna do is try and find some sticks to build a shelter. Anything you can find. Shit, that's a snake, run! <gasps> so what you're gonna wanna do is grab some sticks, use them to build a shelter, and this is gonna shield you from the harsh UV rays beaming down from the sun. As you can see, I've built myself a house here. It's got a good structure to it, and it may not have all the creature comforts, but for now, it's home. What you're gonna wanna do is always make sure that you get it on a flat surface. Oh! A vital part of survival is trying to find food. Now you're gonna wanna make sure it's something that doesn't want to eat you, like the snake we encountered before, nearly gobbled me up. The results of that would have been fatal. So since cows eat grass and we drink their milk, it makes the grass safe for humans to eat. Now that simple source of nutrients, you can find it almost anywhere, except if you're in the desert. And in that case, you're just gonna wanna look a bit harder. Now knots are very important. You can use them to tie things together build traps and make shelters. This, that's a clove hitch knot. One time I fell out of a tree and my testicles did that. And I was in the hospital for six months. Not fun, but I survived. You can also use the rope to scale otherwise unclimbable areas. This will not only let you get a better view of your surroundings, but also keep you safe from predators. What you can do is you can use the terrain to your advantage. Get into a tree so you can get a better view of the area. And luckily, I can see some water right over there. <laughs> you okay? Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Now something that won't want to eat you up is fish. Now they're totally harmless, but you're only going to want to get in the water if you're 100% sure that there are no predators. Freshwater crocs are quite common. After fighting up the croc, I calmly swam out of the lake. Was that a croc? I fucking slipped. <laughs> and thanks to a nice sunny day, I'm now conveniently dry. Another trick you can use to find food He's blending in. Pretending you're an animal will attract potential mates and allow them to get close to you so that you can strike. Unfortunately, that strategy hasn't worked today. I feel like a bit of a twat. But in order to survive, we need twats. I'm struggling to find food. Just as I'm about to give up hope, I spot something. Shh, 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 shh. Is that over there? Shh, get down, down, down. Using some sticks and some rope, I was quickly able to craft a bow and some arrows. You got him. That's what you want. You gotta make sure you aim right, because these pesky little things. They move quick. What you're gonna wanna do, trusty pocket knife, get under there. What you can do is just skin it, and it should be all right to just eat the insides raw. Oh, that's fucking foul. <laughs> now finding water out in the middle of nowhere can be a challenge. The lake I was in before is now contaminated 
because I shit myself when I got pulled under by that deadly monster. What? what? I thought you said you slept. Cut the fucking camera. What? <laughs> fucking camera! <laughs> now, worst case scenario, there's no rain. You can find these plastic bottles. They're all around and they take thousands of years to decompose. What you want to do is take that and piss into it. Now, Uri not only has good nutrition and protein, it's also bloody scrumptious. I love a good cup of piss to finish off a long day. <laughs> <laughs> When you're out in the wild, a key skill you'll need to learn is how to start a fire. Now a campfire can be the difference between life and death in the wilderness. Make sure it's nice and big. There you go. And now I'll leave you with a secret survival tip of my very own. If you have people around to help you, don't waste that, you need to take advantage of every opportunity. If I eat for a day, animal instinct takes over, and I eat the cameramen. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> It. What you're not going to want to do is sit on your ass and cry about it because the results of that could be fatal. <laughs> your friends won't like you, your parents will abandon you, and your boyfriend or girlfriend will dump you. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. <laughs> the fucking natives are coming. There's a fucking dead mozzie on my page. <laughs> you know what they say? Hakuna Matata. <laughs> you didn't actually fucking eat that, did you? Yeah, good protein. It's not enough to keep me going. <laughs> We're gonna wanna get the wood and then use it to craft a pickaxe and the crafting table. We're gonna do this before night falls because the creepers will come out and blow you to bits. Thank you.